Hi there everybody, this is Farmer Bob, welcome back to my channel, <laughs> so nice to be back and guys, uh, have I got something nice for you today? Um, have a few requests in the past um, for guys how to make their own blank map and I've explained that a few times in my map making series but um, I've never made a video on it so here we go, <laughs> let's, let's have a look at how to do that, how to make your own blank map from scratch. And then obviously it's going to be a quick one it doesn't take long it's very simple and easy so um yeah just hang on guys if this is your first time hit that subscribe and the like i appreciate that and uh, yeah a warm welcome to everyone man thanks so much great so let's get stuck in guys so in order to do that you want to go to your game directory where farming simulator is installed for me it is under program files steam steam apps common and in farming simulator so that is your game directory not your mods directory which is in your documents folder normally so you want to go to the game directory the folder with the data and all the game files you'll see your x64 is in there the data folder is in there that kind of goodies and also the game xml um, so yeah you go into the data folder um, you go into the maps folder and then you've got a choice of two maps um, the, the map DE is the German one and the map US is the US map. Now I've found that the US map gives you a bit more, um, how can I say, um, um, a bit more nice stuff to work with, you know. So I, I like to go with the US one. Um, I've in the past always used the map DE, the German one, but uh, for, for for this last map I've realized here yeah, there's so much more nice stuff in the US so let's go for that so that is the one that you want to open first of all so you want to physically open the map so you just double click on that and remember guys um, you cannot open the map if you don't have Giants Editor so if if you want to make your own map you need to download Giants Editor from the um, from the uh, GDN network that's a Giants developer network so you just um, Google the word download Giants Editor 8.22 and it will take you to the GDN network uh, website um, and then also you will need an account there so you'll have to register with them and install uh, um, register a profile a username and a password for yourself there because otherwise you can't get to the um, to the actual downloads and good stuff great great guys so here we are now in the map and um, now, first of all, you will see there's a lot of um, stuff in your tree. Obviously, the whole map is now listed in your tree. So the very first thing we want to do is just create a map, first of all. So we go File, um, a new mod from game. That's the first thing you want to click. So you just wait for that to open. Great. So once that is open, it says uh, mod sample mod map 1. That is your German one. You want to select sample mod map 2. And if you want to make yourself a mod of anything else in the game, here's the whole list of whatever is available in the game. So you can make yourself mods from anything in the game. Quite nice. Uh, but we want to obviously just go to uh, mod map 2, which is uh, this one, the US one. And you select OK, uh, I3D file. And then choose a directory where you want to make the map uh, or have the map created so I'm gonna go let me just create one here uh, I'm gonna go somewhere on my desktop it's normally the safest select the folder um, and then also I can create myself a folder here by just putting in a directory there uh, let's call it new map new map like that good say okay and now it is busy creating the mod uh, or the map for you and then obviously there you go it is all done i think so i hope so i think it's all done so now we're just going to go search on our desktop for that file that says new map uh new map there it is and this is your map guys all from scratch so what you want to do now is you open that and then you're going to delete everything in there that you don't want. Um, that's as simple as it is. And this map is complete with XMLs already set up for you. Um, which if you were to um, start a blank map some other way, you will have to do all this manually. So your map USXML is already done for yourself. 
There it is, already set up with all the ground types and um, the additional files already set up, all your stuff there. So all you need to do now is, um, sorry, this is my default items. It's got nothing to do with that. And if you go into uh, Map US in here, this terrain data, we're going to get to that now. Let's first just open the map, get it all done. So first things you want to do is get rid of everything that you don't want in 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 other words i would suggest leave the fields uh only field 01 for yourself the rest you can delete so it's simple and easy select the first one of the list that you want to delete scroll down to the bottom field hold shift click the last one like so so it selects everything just make sure it's not there press the delete button and there you go all the fields are gone um and that way you, you can go through the stuff that you don't need. Um, career start point you want, tour icons, you're not going to really need that. Gameplay, um, vehicle shop gameplay, you'll definitely need. That's already stuff all sorted for you, so you can decide what you want to keep um, in the map. I would, I would suggest um, if you don't want to keep the terrain as it is, I'm going to work on those rather, show you how to do that. But through this list, you can decide by yourself through the placeholders what silos you want to keep. Um, if if there's something in here that you don't want, you just click it and delete. That's as simple as pie. You don't have to worry. Lights, street lights, whatever you want, don't want. Just delete it out of the tree and it's off the game so you don't have to fuss about it anymore. Good. So I'm going to not fuss on that. That's your choice what you want to keep on the map. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the terrain. Um, make all the blank, make a blank map with nothing on it for your terrain. Okay, so what we're going to do is obviously zoom out nice and far. So you can see the whole map like so. Great. And then the very first thing we want to do is take, um, take our radius, make that 1200 because the standard base map is um, a two kilo kilometer by two kilometer um, s or is it now a one by a one I'm not too sure I think it's a one by a one for the standard game um, so that's our size of our brush we want and then um, you want to go on uh, select here to replace on your right mouse button you can do it with any button whichever one you want to use I normally am used to my right button so I'm gonna go replace on that and what we're going to do now is we're going to replace the terrain to level the terrain at a certain height. Now, the certain height that I like to use for all my maps is 100. So you go to your Y value, you change that to 100, like so. Uh, sorry, I forgot now. I must just click on the thing again to deselect. We must go to terrain sculpt mode. I wasn't in the mode. Oh, yes. And obviously, you want to use a square brush. There it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go replace, uh, go to 100 here on the height and enter on this so that we don't, uh, and then I'm going to use my right mouse button just to, to move about a bit. And these ones you can go max on them. I forgot to tell you that. And then just move your mouse about all over the place. It will be slow because remember you're doing the whole map at once. So while you're scrolling a bit there just chuck it around and there you go you've got a flat map should have a flat map leveled at 100 terrain height okay so now let's go in close and have a look if that is so that should be what we have now is a level terrain and yes it is level so don't worry about all the obstructions because that's the stuff standing around um, doing nothing great Okay, the next thing you want to do, very important guys, is go into your tip collision. Make sure tip call is selected here. All right. You go into the blue one, the terrain info layer paint mode, while you're up high in the sky like this. And now that is the tip collision for, um, for the, the old map. So we're going to go just right click. Remember to put your mouse back. Uh, select here to subtract because you want to subtract in this case so right click and whoop there's your new tip call it's a blank slate so you've got 
cleared all the tip call of the old map so no tip collision there so you can set up your own tip collision from here and then um, the next thing was the farmlands now the same drill with the farmlands uh, farmlands, 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 farmlands. Oh, sorry, it's here by tip call. So you select the farmlands, very important, and make sure zero is selected, which is channel one, and then the same drill. Uh, but in this case, we're not going to deselect, you're going to use your left button to actually paint it. So it should all go white, like so. So one click of the, one click of the mouse and everything is white. So the whole farmland is now set to channel zero. Uh, which is uh, layer one in your XML. Craig, I have two more things that I've just been thinking about. Um, the one is the farmland XML. Let's quickly um, modify that. So you will go into your directory, find the farmland um, farmland XML. There it is, map US farmland XML. And in here, you will find all the old fields uh, or the farmland IDs. I will suggest, uh, remember we've set everything to, to ID1, so I will suggest keep the rest of it there so you can just enable them again afterwards, you know. So to, to disable, you're going to go um, this smaller than sign, a quish, uh, uh, exclamation mark, and then two um, of those little minus signs. So, and then you will do that on on everyone that's still highlighted so it is a one of those exclamation mark two of those and everywhere where you've got one of these at the end it will stop so we're gonna have to just carry on with this like so and then get to the bottom and then we'll end it off with one of those um, things so you want all of them green because that means they are disabled and then once you ready you can come to this and just enable the ones you want again you know so at the end we're going to go space uh, we're going to go two of these and close it up and this two must be at the bottom so you have to end your form lens with that command it's a forward slash form lens and then the forward slash map good so if you click on map there it should be purple both sides of the map and then the red line right to the bottom no distractions or no stops or whatever means that your xml is fine remember to save so that's your farmland uh, uh, xml and then the other one is uh, in the map itself you want to create a new ground collision map now in order to do that you go scripts i uh, just click in the terrain to uh, left click in the in the scene graph and then go scripts map uh, create ground collision map so select that and um, this takes probably about 30 seconds to to generate so if you if it says they're not responding don't panic don't worry about it just wait for it to finish it will it will drop you down here at the console it will tell you that it's created the ground collision map um, and it will give you the directory as well for it's normally in your maps folder you know um, so once that is done I will show you now um, what it looks like um, and then it's all done then you are ready great so now it's done you see here it says uh, generating tip collision map and it shows you the map us i3d call map the collision map is the one that um, is obviously the one that you want to uh, have in your directory and it creates it for you so you just click save when you're done with all of those uh, changes and once it's saved you're ready to roll so good that is the few things that you need for a blank map and now you've got a blank canvas to work with you can however now also um, get rid of the fields to do that you go into your uh, this one here the terrain texture paint mode and we're going to select grass uh, here by our mud dog we go to grass not too sure was it grass dry or was it grass but let's just check grass good okay let's have a look let's have a look so now you just left button again paint the whole map with grass don't worry about the fields they should still be there great so now we're going to get rid of the fields by going into um, this one here which is the terrain foliage paint mode so you go up there 
And here at the bottom, just make sure your foliage layer is, uh, layer is terrain detail. And one click there, boop, it should get rid of all the fields. Sorry. Make sure your mouse is at uh, subtract for your right click. And then but now the whole map is field. Um, okay, I should have done that first. So first do this one and then this one at uh, grass. Great. And now that the whole thing is field, you can use uh, the terrain detail again. Uh, with that one there, selected terrain foliage paint mode, and then you right click on it this time, and it's going to remove all the field. There it is. And everything is back to grass. So now I've got a clean slate of grass on your whole map. Um, the whole tip call is reset, as well as the farmland is reset. So you've got a blank canvas to work off, except for all the stuff that's on the map. Um, I will suggest guys to keep your um, displines you can delete because you're not going to use those. Um, uh, the placeholders you can choose there from, from what you want. Water planes you can delete because you're going to, the only one you need to keep is your, the main water. Oh, but even this main water you can't keep. So the whole water planes um, directory you want to chuck or, or what, okay, uh, um, transform you want to throw away. Backdrop trees, the trees folder, I will su suggest delete all the trees that you don't want to use, but keep one of each just for a, uh, for, for you not to have to import them again. So you will go in there, for instance, keep one volume tree, delete all the rest in the whole map. Go down to the bottom of volume trees, hold shift, click the last one. Leave one for yourself. Press the delete button. And there you go. Now you have only one tree. <laughs> and then go through the whole list like this. And just keep all the palms. One of each. There is different stages on these. So don't delete everything. Keep one of each. And that. You get the idea, guys. I'm sure that's very self-explaining, you know. And then at the end, at Ravenport, same thing here. All your signs, all your buildings. Decide what you want to keep. Delete the rest. And that is it, guys. And then there you go. Once you've finished with that, press the Save button. I'm just going to right-click here, Collapse All. Press the Save button. And wait for it to save. And there it is. Now you have a blank map with everything set up for you already. All the XMLs is in place. And remember now, um, if you, if you want to use uh, any of the in-game stuff, it will be already in the XMLs. It will be here under your um, mod desk default items in here. This is all your buildings that's in the whole map. So if if there's a building that you don't want to use, you'll have to take it out of here as well. Um, not all the buildings are here, but just the working ones like your silos and all those things. Right, so everything you don't want... Um, you can just delete out of the default items and then as well as um, the mod disk. Well, in years, there's nothing actually to delete. So this will just stay the same. Uh. Basically, that's it, guys. That is the way to make your own default blank map. Great, and the last thing you want to also do is get rid of all the bushes and flowers and stuff that's on the map. So you go here once again to terrain foliage, select here grass, and then make it the default small or a middle or a big. Just you decide what you want default on the whole map. And then uh, you can just go, I'm just going to go small for now and just paste, paste once on the map. And once you go down into the map, you'll see that your um, whole terrain has been altered. And there's only small grass on the whole map surface. And there you go. Good. And now you're ready to have fun. Create your own map from scratch. Just want to go out of this mode here. And then once you've deleted everything you don't want, you've got a flat, blank, open slate map ready to be used <laughs> as your heart content you know so just add the stuff you want change it around move it about and uh, there you go you've got a blank map well uh, guys i really hope it's been helpful 
I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.